Hey, I talking hi there before for we start make sure to join my discord server we are a new server with giveaways and uploads are done eerie fast so you can be the first and give me video ideas joining now. Anyways, let's start. Wiz Air's new Airbus A321XL, or Fleet. What we know- On June 19th, 2019, Airbus announced that Indigo Partners and three of its airlines would be acquiring 50 new Airbus A321XL long-range single ISIL jetliners. The Memorandum of Understanding included new orders for 32 A321XL airs and the conversion of 18 existing A320 new family orders for Wiz Air an Indigo partner airline. It meant that it would be receiving 20 of the new extra long-range aircraft. Has anything happened to this order since its announcement? Let's find out. Wizz Air has the A321XL are on order via its parent company Indigo Partners. An Indigo partner order based in Phoenix, Arizona. Indigo Partners is a private equity fund focused on worldwide investments in air transportation. The company has significant ownership stakes in four low-cost airlines. Frontier Airlines O, Jetis Amaya Tichail, Volaris Mexico, and Wizz Air Hungary. Combined, the four carriers operate over 300 Airbus aircraft and, with the new commitments, have over 600 on order. Wizz Air's Chief Executive Officer, Joseph Varadi said the following in a company press release, quote, The inherent aircraft economics of the Airbus A321XL will widen our competitive advantage for stimulating demand for air travel in Central and Eastern Europe and beyond while minimizing our environmental footprint. The 320 new family aircraft are game-changing aircraft, announced Wizz Air's low fare model and undisputed cost leadership in Europe. Wizz Air is an Indigo partner airline. Deliveries from 2023. A media statement noted that Wizz Air's current order of a 321 XL Airs would be delivered over three years starting in 2023. The order, which required the approval of Wizz Air shareholders, was approved in October 2019. As far as we know, there have not been any changes to the plan. The 321 XL will open up opportunities for new routes, not just for Wizz Air, but for all of its customers. Speaking to Reuters in July 2019 after the Indigo Partners announcement, Verratti said that the 321 XL gives the budget carrier the opportunity to connect more dots in its existing network. In August 2019, CEPE noted that Varadi is considering serving Dubai from London and adding some Central Europe to India routes. A high-density layout. It's hard to imagine Wizz Air offering much more than the basic low-cost carrier style service it is currently offering. Its style of operations as a budget carrier means that it's all about high-density seating and filling the aircraft to its capacity with attractive airfares. A Wizz Air statement sent to in Hunicum last year confirmed that the 321 XL variant would be operated with 239 seats, the same as the 321 new. As we suspected, the reason is to ensure full fleet commonality with the airline's existing fleet. Under this configuration, there are a few seats that offer extra legroom on board the 321 and a 321 new. These are simply the exit rows. All other seats will provide the same 28-29 inch. Non-reclining seat. The cabins of all aircraft belonging to Wizz Air are a single class of non-reclining seats. After the order announcement, in 2019, the airline's CEO noted that the carrier is currently flying a number of five to six hour long routes with great satisfaction to customers. The Exila will extend our outstanding value and service proposition on routes of seven to eight hours of flying. He continued, while we could hope and pray for the possibility that the airline will surprise us with a new seating configuration, it would go against the low-cost model of keeping things as basic and straightforward as possible. Of course, the 321 XLR and its long range and therefore long flights would be a perfect opportunity and reason for the airline to sell its customers something a little more comfortable than what is currently on offer. Thanks for watching if you have not known this was a I voice speaking while I might do aviation news videos soon. But thanks and bye.